What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after a pretty crappy Memorial Day for our boy Phil. First of all, Soul Maid did not want to cook. She was too lazy. She didn't want to make Phil an American, an American barbecue style uh, Memorial Day dinner. Nope. It was only leftovers for our boy Phil. So uh, you could tell he wasn't too happy about that. Uh, he doesn't appreciate him so made doesn't want to cook for him and on top of that he had a pretty slow streaming day i mean it wasn't because there weren't enough people there because of course it's memorial day and most people are out with their family and friends uh it was just you know the tips dried up i mean you had your you had your dents out your oic dent his sale was out and a few other dents but they just couldn't rally and give Phil the support he needed. So uh, let's see what Phil has to say. I'm pretty sure he will bring it up. And we got some good news for all of you tonight. Some schedule changes coming and it's good schedule changes. So let's talk. Today on the Level 1 Podcast, we had a nice chill day. We talked about some various different topics. Um, nothing too super concerning uh, or, or too important. Again, a more laid back and chill day, which is always great when there's not too much crazy game news or whatever going on. Um, but it was a nice day of Q and A, uh, and you know, talking a little bit about the schedule, which was kind of iffy at the time because I didn't actually know what I was going to be doing, uh, you know, coming up because I didn't know what was going to happen tonight with Jedi Survivor. Today also <clears throat> was Memorial Day in the United States. We talked all about that. I talked about my history with the holiday, how I used to celebrate it with my family when I was younger, and then how it turned actually into an annual kind of Street Fighter celebration every year. That was a fun segment. Um, so the podcast today, chill fun, relaxing, and some good Memorial Day stories. Um, first stream today was Zelda... Okay, his Memorial Day stories were him chastising people for not uh, celebrating the true meaning of Memorial Day, and yet he was sitting there uh, streaming and begging for money and not uh, actually celebrating the true meaning of Memorial Day. You would think he would be with some friends and family, uh, maybe do a moment of silence, do something, you know what I mean, to remember our fallen uh, soldiers. But no, of course, he just sat there, played video games, and begged for money. And then, you know, he didn't even bother to, to, to cook or anything. I mean, come on now. That's your traditional Americana, what you do on Memorial Day. You hang out with some friends, some family. You, you make some hamburgers, some hot dogs. And, you know, you chill. Uh, maybe take a, you know, drink a brew if that's what you're into. You hang out, you chat with friends, and, you know, you, you, you just hang out. And, of course, now Phil decided to hang out with some uh, unknown blobs of people that he calls his community to stream and beg for money. Tears of the Kingdom. And as I told you guys, my goal today was to start heading towards story developments. And that's exactly what we did. We went from the southeastern portion of the map and started heading northward. And so we ended up heading up into uh, Kakeriko Village uh, and sur surrounding areas, investigating all kinds of shrines, temples. We actually did another tower or two, which launched us up into some sky islands and shrines up there. We ended up getting two major upgrades, one stamina, one uh, hearts, I believe. No, we did two stamina. We actually did two stamina upgrades because I realized that my stamina was so low that I couldn't do various different things that I wanted to do. Um, we kept trying to head northeast, but sadly there seemed to be a big way, it wasn't on the map, but basically this big thing was just blocking your way, this big cliffside or whatever, or a wall. And so because of that, I said, all right, we gotta go another way. So we ended up kind of backtracking, going a different direction. And we're basically now right between two story areas. There's one that's way northeast and one that's like slightly to the south of it that are both major story, I guess, area dungeons. So we're going to look into those uh, next time that I play Zelda, which is going to be sooner rather than later, as we're about to discuss. But it was a great stream, great interactions, great fun. People helping me out to understand the game. Um, good puzzle solving and all of that. Overall, had a really great time with it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream today. If not, check out the videos after the fact. Uh, tonight's late stream was Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Now, I told you guys I'm making a major push to beat the game this week, and I thought that I was going to basically need tonight's stream and tomorrow's daytime stream to beat it. Good news is, that wasn't the case. Uh, all we needed was tonight's stream. I ended up going maybe about 20, 30 minutes later, maybe maybe a half an hour. Um, but we did it. We wrapped it up. There was only a, uh, two major areas left. There was one kind of like a star base you had to go to, and, uh, and then there was a... Uh, final world area and a final boss fight and that was the game 
Um, overall, really enjoyed it. I gave my final thoughts while the credits rolled and at the end of the playthrough. So if you want my true kind of review-like thoughts, watch it. But in general, it's a good game, completely hampered by bad graphical performance. So much frame rate drops, stuttering, issues with the graphics that they just look weird. And of course, game crashes. If the game was polished, this would outstandingly be a game of the year contender for me. Outstandingly be. Okay, some more philisms there. Uh, I played the game. I, I played it on PC. Uh, the initial couple days, yeah, it was, it, it was issues. But then after the first patch, it was fine. I played it. It was good. The graphics were fine. Everything was good. Uh, I didn't have any. I think I had one shutdown. Uh, and that was it. And that could have been just a driver issue on my end. But the game was perfectly fine. It ran smooth. It was great. You played it, I guess, on your X -Seri Xbox Series X. And the one thing, Phil, you need to know sometimes is sometimes it's just but whenever you have issues like this and they're pushing out multiple patches, it's best just to delete that game, delete the game off your off your heart and do a fresh install. Because a lot of times you have bad files that don't get overwritten. And if you just delete it and re-upload it and, you know, it'll upload with all the patches. It, it, it won't even upload the patches. It'll just, you know, the game will upload with the patches and you should be fine. That's what I end up doing and that's what I always do. So that's probably why you had so many issues. But the game wasn't bad at all. And it seemed like the only time you complained was because was when you were getting your ass beat by a boss. That was the only time you complained about, uh, uh, you know, issues with the way it ran and so on. Uh, as long as you beat someone and didn't have any problems, it was perfectly fine. Case in point, yesterday when you were playing, uh, when you were fighting against Vader, and you lost over and over and over again, you constantly blamed the, you know, the frame rate and all that stuff, and that had nothing to do with it. You just suck. But I can't ignore all the problems I had during the playthrough. I mean, hell, I stopped doing the optional Jedi Temple challenges because two of them had crashed for me, and I didn't feel like redoing them all from the start. No auto saves during those. So I was like, you know what? <clears throat> that was enough. Sad but true that this game, if it were polished, would have been an insanely good game because it has so many things that are improvements over the original Jedi Fallen Order, but they just didn't polish it enough, all right? But overall, really enjoyed it. So today, great progress in Zelda. We're really near two-story elements next time we play, and I beat Jedi Survivor. So what does that mean? That means that tomorrow, my final consecutive streaming day of the week, we can actually play Zelda again, which is cool because we're right at the precipice of story. So tomorrow we're going to do a level one podcast. Then we're going to do Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And we're going to get to some story elements tomorrow. I don't know if we'll get to a major dungeon and do it, but I'm happy to be able to jump into it and make major progress in the game. So I hope that you'll join me tomorrow during the day, 1045 a.m. Pacific time for the start of the podcast or 1245 p.m. Pacific time for the start of the gameplay. I'm very excited to play more Zelda because we actually ended at a good part today. Tomorrow night, the late stream will be Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster. Again, we're heading into really great parts of the game. I think we're going to do the third uh, Legendary Dungeon. And once you beat that, there's only one more left. And then you're basically in the end game. Although this game does have some really fun late game uh, kind of optional super boss style content, which we may or may not do. But tomorrow night should be another two chill hours of Final Fantasy. All right. Overall, today's support was all right. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. But at the same time, yeah, support has definitely been slowing down. Chances being because I'm playing all these older game playthroughs that have been going on for a very long time. I get the Okay, folks, this is what I wanted to, to address. <laughs> Uh, no, Phil, it's not that whatsoever, because you played Final Fantasy, and you played Zelda, and you played uh, Jedi uh, Survivor. So that's three different games that you played, and support's been slow for each of those. I think the bigger issue is that uh, your whales just wailed out, you know what I mean? OIC, Jinx, Ryan, whoever, they can only prop you up but so much until they run out of cash, Phil. You know, you had an influx of almost $3,000 just in tips alone over the last two weeks and yet you expect these same dents to continually prop up your channel and it just doesn't work that way phil so you're probably going to go through a dry spurt uh it may pop up on street fighter when you play it initially but uh, i have a feeling that you're going to go through a, yet another period where the tip totals are going to be low and uh i love it because you know it, it just means another scorn moment so uh that's what it is phil has nothing to do with um you know the, the 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 games you're playing was it the games you were playing for that two week period when ryan was wailing out 
was it the games you were playing the same exact games you weren't doing anything different uh, the only thing you did different was that marathon that you did where you ended up getting uh, 1300 bucks and a thousand was from Ryan. So I'm not sure what the hell you're talking about, Phil, but okay, if that's what you want to run with and go with, okay. I mean, even your React stuff is dead. I mean, you barely cracked the tier two tip goal on Saturday. Uh, what do you got? 100 bucks, 102 bucks. And that was after some major begging. So everything is just slow and dead and boring, Phil. And, and that's how it goes. Your whales whale out for a bit of a period because they want to, you know, stick it to the trolls or you're having a bad period, especially after the interview and all the drama with Keemstar and Boogie and all that. So they want to whale out and prop you up. But again, you know, you, you, you only have but so much money. And I'm sorry, your whales are, are not going to put themselves, well, some of them are, most of them are, aren't going to put themselves in financial ruin for you, Phil. The feeling that come June when I'm playing Street Fighter VI and maybe starting up Diablo IV, there's going to be a lot more interest. So let's see what happens. But for the most part, great streaming day. Very happy that I beat Jedi Survivor with the conclusion uploading tonight. You can check it out on the channel. And I'm excited for more Zelda and Final Fantasy tomorrow. All right, guys? Thank you all. Please have a good evening. See you in the AM. Peace out. Have a good night. Alrighty, folks. That's the daily wrap. Just some more mundane, boring stuff and him trying to justify why the dents aren't, you know, tipping him. Uh, but let this go on for a few more days and let's see how Phil reacts. And then let's see how Phil reacts when he does his Street Fighter um, playthrough or whatever, which I think it's Friday. So if the if the dents don't weigh a lot on Friday, uh, there may be a problem. And you heard it from me. He's talking about doing the single player, focusing on that uh, and milking that for as long as possible. That That's not going to happen. The detractors, the dents, they're all going to be saying play multiplayer. This is boring. Play multiplayer. And Phil's going to be forced to play multiplayer and he's going to get clapped. Then he's going to sit there and blame cheaters. He's going to say, well, I, I didn't play the multiplayer initially. So, um, you know, these people got a leg up on me. You know, all, all the all the excuses that our boy Phil's. And I can't wait to see it. I'm probably going to stream his Friday stream. I'm going to stream it on my, um, probably on my duty channel. So if you guys want to watch it, feel free to hop on. All right, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.